Hackers today have lots of tools to try to steal your personal information and manipulate you, from keystroke loggers, phishing, and dictionary attack programs, as well as other malware or public Wi-Fi intercepts, right down to general eavesdropping. Our personal information lives online as much as we do, and anywhere you shop or surf, you're bound to leave a trace. Passwords help protect our accounts, but relying on passwords alone can leave you vulnerable. If a hacker manages to overhear or steal your password, he can use that to directly unlock your account and do what he wishes with the sensitive information inside. Consider the next step in personal online security. Two-factor authentication, also known as two-step authentication or login verifications. Two-factor authentication requires two of three different types of information. Something you know, such as a password, zip code, PIN, or pattern, Something you have, such as an ATM card, cell phone, tablet, or fob. Or something you are, biometrics, such as fingerprints, retina scans, or voice recognition. Here's how it works. A hacker gets a hold of your username and password and tries to access your account. When a correct password has been entered, a one-time PIN is sent to your cell phone. This PIN is required to complete the login. And since the hacker doesn't have your cell phone, he can't access your account. This is just one way the two-factor authentication system can look. We've got some other examples and have put together some additional resources at cybersecurity.mo.gov to help you set up a stronger login system and keep your personal information private.